how to set up Shopify payments. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we will be doing a quick look at how you can get started with setting up your payments on Shopify. So if you want to get Shopify for free, check out the link in the description box down below to start your free trial with Shopify today. Plus, after your free trial, for only $1 a month, you can continue on using Shopify for three months. Now, let's log into our Shopify store and get started with setting up payments. Now, before you set up payments, you do have to complete some information in your Shopify store. So you just go into settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings, you will simply go into the payment system over here and you will see that before you get this option, it will actually ask you to complete the information that needs to be provided for you to enable payments that includes completing your address so the address of your business it also will include a phone number verification so you have to verify your phone number before you can get into setting up payments on shopify i have already completed those steps and we can move on to shopify payment now with Shopify payments, there are multiple different payment methods that you can choose. You have some basic methods where you can choose where, where you can basically choose what kind of payment provider you want. You have some of the basic payment setups added already. And then on the bottom, you also have manual payment methods that you can add. So you can create a custom payment method as well. You can also create a bank deposit money order or cash on delivery system as well oftentimes your purchases are going to be already paid with a credit or debit card but for some regions cash on delivery is still pretty frequent or if it's not you can skip that but we will be taking a look at how to set it up now with shopify payments you guys can see before you can set up your payments you have to choose the account you want to deposit your money in so for that you have two options you can connect your bank account via Plaid and you will start receiving payouts in two business days or you can add your bank information manually. This includes adding your nine digit routing number and then your account number. So your routing number is whatever bank that you are using. Each individual bank has a different one. This is for the United States. Obviously, if you are located in another region, then you are going to have a different bank manual information. So you're just going to have to add those numbers over here. Now, after that, if you scroll down over here, so if we scroll down over here, we're just going to go into the payment setup. Now, in our payment setup, we have additional payment methods. You guys can see PayPal and Amazon Pay have already been added and PayPal is already activated. However, Amazon Pay is not activated. So to complete our PayPal setup, simply click on manage over here. Once you click on manage, you can see you have your basic PayPal information, transactional fees are 0%, and the status. So we are going to, obviously, whatever email you want to use, you're going to use that and complete the setup for your PayPal account. And you will just enter the PayPal information to get your payments in PayPal. Now, if there is any payment method that you want to remove, simply click on the payment method and click on manage. And then you can deactivate the, that specific system of checkout. Now, after that, let's take a look at our Amazon Pay. So you guys can see we can click on activate Amazon Pay. And this also has a transaction of zero. And you can just choose the country that you're located in. And you can create a Amazon Pay account with your email address. Now, what happens if you want to add another method of payment? These are, you know, common methods, but there are a lot of other methods you can add. To add any of the other payment methods, simply click on add payment methods over here. Once you do that, you have two options. Now you have your two options. First off, you have search by payment method, and then you have search by provider. Now there are multiple different providers for the same payment method. For example, if I want to be able to accept MasterCard, then there are going to be multiple different payment providers that are providing me with the service of being able to accept MasterCard payments. However, the transactional fees for each of these providers is going to be different. So let's say I want to accept MasterCard. I like to search by payment methods and that is it. So that is all that I'm looking for. Now, there are 30 different providers that offer me this payment method. Now, you want to make sure you are taking a deep dive into all of the payment methods, you know, that are available. Obviously, Skrill is one of the top ones. It's one of the most widely used ones. 
because it has a very large network connection it provides you with so many different providers and if i just click on the scroll system over here you guys can see if i click on five more it gives me access to accept payments from mastercard visa american express ucb niners club pay safe card gyro pay maestro and so forth so to enable these payment methods, I simply have to click on activate and the scroll payment provider will be added. Now in this, I will just add my merchant email and then you're going to enter your secret word, which is basically going to be your password, but I'm just going to only select the ones that I want. So let's say I only want to accept Visa, MasterCard, Maestro, JCB, and American Express. So once I have selected that, I will enter my email and then just like that simply by clicking activate scroll scroll has been activated as a payment method on shopify now once i have added scroll you guys will be able to see it over here when we know if you're using scroll or any other platform and you guys will see this is our payment method now i can just click on manage over here and once i click on manage you guys will see your details your email and if you don't have your scroll account you can simply click on sign up for free over here to create your scroll account to be able to accept payments directly over there and you don't have to visit your scroll account once you have created it you're just going to get your payments over there and you're just going to be enabled to accept payments now if there is a payment provider that you cannot find in scroll you can definitely check it out over here so i'm just going to go ahead go into additional payment methods and let's take a look at some of the other payment methods that you can accept so let's say I want to provide payment. I want to be able to accept Klarna, which is a buy now pay later system. So I would just search for Klarna over here and that is what I'm looking for. So you guys can see the different payment providers that are going to enable me to accept Klarna payments in my Shopify store. To enable this, simply click on the one that you want to choose and click on activate. Then you can connect your Shopify store to your Klarna account. Now I can just click on connect and build my Klarna account like this. I will just have to install the plugin of Klarna. And just like that, Klarna will be added and I can create my account on Klarna using my, you know, using the same account as my Shopify store. Now, these are just some of the basic payment methods. If you want to add your own payment method, simply go into payments in the settings, scroll down and click on add manual payment method now the reason i recommend this is because when i built my shopify store because i was selling things like accessories scrunchies hair ties that kind of stuff people really like to pay by cash but simply because you know they're not certain when they're going to receive their items and because it was a smaller brand, a smaller store, people really don't have that level of trust if they're especially placing larger orders. So for that, I used manual payment methods and that is why I recommend that you guys check out Shopify because it really is customizable and buildable to the size of business that you have. So if you want to get started with Shopify for free, check out the link in the description box down below to get started. Now we're going to click on add manual payment method and click on cash on delivery. Then you can add your additional details, which might be pay to your courier at your doorstep. And then you can add your payment instructions. So this will be showing up on the screen once the customer has selected and continued on with their payment method. So I will just, you know, I can add the same thing over here, but I'm just going to click on activate cash on delivery. And just like that, cash on delivery has been activated for the checkout of my Shopify store. So that is how simple and easy it is to get started with setting up payments on your Shopify store. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out the link in the description box down below to get access to Shopify for free and I will catch you guys in the next video